What's up guys, Connor here and welcome back to Star Wars Central. This is just going to be a quick video to go over some pretty big news for Battlefront 2's single player campaign. Before I say anything more, you should have read the title, but even if you forgot or for some reason didn't read the title, this video will contain spoilers. This means you have been warned. So if you want a completely fresh experience going into the single player in November when Battlefront 2 releases, then this is definitely not the video for you. However, if you want to see the new cutscene and know what it means in terms of the Star Wars lore and exactly what's going on with the Empire and the canon, then stick around because I'll be going over all of that in today's video. Anyway, let's get started. So the start of the cutscene brings us over Vados, which is Aiden Verzio's homeworld. It's an Imperial planet and will be a playable location in the Battlefront 2 campaign. We learn that a Star Destroyer is in orbit over the planet and then the cutscene takes us to the bridge. On the bridge of the Star Destroyer is Aiden Verzio's father, Garrick Verzio, who is a high-ranking Imperial Admiral. And standing next to him on the bridge is an Imperial Sentinel. Now you may be wondering what is a Sentinel? Well, Sentinels in the Star Wars canon are droids that are sent to deliver messages personally from Emperor Palpatine. These droids are programmed with the Emperor's personality and can appear as the Emperor with a holographic display. Another kind of creepy thing they do is that sometimes if the droid needs to verify a user's identity, it takes a sample of their blood. Which is pretty creepy, but it makes sense considering it's supposed to be the Emperor and his orders are highly secretive. Anyway, moving on, at this point in the Battlefront 2 campaign, we learn that the Emperor is dead and the Sentinel contains his last orders. These are for Operation Cinder, also known as the Contingency. Now here is where we move on to the spoilers. In the Star Wars canon, the Contingency or Operation Cinder is Palpatine's final plan. Basically, he decides that if the Empire allows the Emperor to die, then the Empire itself doesn't deserve to exist. He has this really complicated way of explaining it with a board game in the books, but I figured it was better to give you guys the cliff notes. So the Contingency is a series of attacks on Imperial worlds by the Empire to destroy the Empire. It seems a little bit confusing, and of course the Empire doesn't quite realise what it's doing. It just thinks that it's following Palpatine's last orders. This is also why the Sentinel arrives to give the final orders to Aiden Verzio and her father, Admiral Garrick Verzio. Now here is where we get into the real evidence. When Aiden asks what their targets are, the Sentinel like swoops in out of nowhere and denies her by saying, you are not verified. Operation Cinder is the last command of our Emperor and the first step in securing our future. Inferno is crucial to its success. What's our target? You are not verified. Then, as she walks away, her father gives her Inferno Squad's orders, which I'm guessing are only a small part of what the Sentinel has told him, and he says that they are unusual. My guess is the orders are unusual because they are to attack or disrupt Imperial targets. Maybe even help the Rebels, now known as the New Republic, in attacking the Empire. This is all part of Palpatine's plan to destabilize and destroy the Empire, because if he can't have it, nobody can. In some of the latest Star Wars books, this is exactly what happens. Aftermath Empire's End was a great example of this. We had the Battle of Jakku, the Empire basically setting itself up for its own defeat, which was all part of a master plan to ultimately destroy the Empire and start fresh in another region of space. The Contingency, or Operation Cinder, is basically the destruction of the Empire as we know it. This means every time you hear the words Contingency or Operation Cinder, just think of the Empire destroying itself. And of course, we know the outcome of this. The Empire goes to the Unknown Regions and the First Order is born. So it definitely makes sense for the Sentinel droid to be super protective of the Full Orders and for Aiden's father to state that the Orders are unusual. He even tries to justify it by saying that these are unusual times. Now of course there's way more lore behind this, but I figured you guys could use a quick recap instead of like a 30 minute video going over the latest Star Wars books. Ultimately, until we play the campaign for ourselves, we cannot be sure that any of this will actually be a playable portion of Aiden Verzio's story. However, considering we've now had a Sentinel droid, unusual orders, a lot of secrecy, and even Star Wars books giving tons of detail about this, I think it seems very likely that that's the type of campaign we're gonna get. 
Anyway, tell me in the comments below what you think about the Sentinel droid. Do you think the campaign is gonna follow the new books where the Empire is basically destroying itself without realizing? I personally hope it does. That would be an incredible campaign. A mixture of attacking rebels and Imperials, that's kind of the best of both worlds. And ultimately, it's the type of unique story that we need in this game. Anyway, that's it for this quick update. I'll be back tomorrow with another video on Battlefront 2. Thank you guys so much for your support. It really does mean a lot to me. Some of you guys have been here for like four years, so just thank you so much for everything. Without you guys, none of this would have been possible. Anyway, I'll see you next time, and may the Force be with you.